In certain parts of St. Louis, black babies are three times more likely than white babies to die before their first birthday. This appalling statement of racial inequity in our city is what brought graduate students together with community activists, with Metrolink, with the hospitals, to sit down and talk about what are some ways that we could disrupt the system which is currently not working for some of St. Louis's most vulnerable citizens. For the last three months, we've been working with innovation techniques, normally used for tech companies, but here applied to one of the most pressing social problems in our city. A lot of young people who are thinking through this problem, and they're thinking through it in non-traditional ways, which is really positive. What we need to do is disrupt those patterns, and to do that we need to think outside of the box, and these students do that. I was blown away by what they were able to pr produce. Um, they did, they listened to us, um, they heard um, what we said about sort of limitations and challenges and what we knew already, um, and they were able to take that and really operationalize it and, and provide a laser focus that organizations that are sort of in the middle of this, we just don't have the bandwidth to do on a regular basis. I really liked the kind of lean startup approach and just really kind of having a sort of rapid launch uh, for, for a lot of these ideas. As someone who works in uh, state government as an elected official, sometimes um, inertia uh, kind of makes things a little bit difficult to uh, try to implement new and different sorts of ideas and innovation. Most of the members um, in the room recognized how important community engagement was in making, um, in creating the impact that we are trying to create in uh, bridging the infant mortality gap. They really supported it all with statistics and had their information in line to support their recommendations. We can step in, start trying to rapid prototype some different kinds of disruptive transportation models um, and the more we can do that and demonstrate A, that it works, B, that it has good health outcomes, C, that it's cheaper. And then we start getting people paying attention and then those systems that are a little slower to move otherwise start to get pressure on them to move. We can have them present this information to um, policymakers, to others looking at data, uh, to community residents to verify and add to what they've collected. You can tell that a lot of Tactical research went into the projects. It was beyond thinking big thoughts about how things could be, but putting some tangible evidence to those problems. The pictures um, and the, the, the way that they brought some of the qualitative information from a lot of the work that's being done, how that they were able to link that with this more um, visual data was really exciting. Anything that we can do to make the systems that exist more friendly as well as more community focused and listening is a big part in having them be more useful uh, for the community members.